The problem that we're trying to solve is uh, to either search using advanced computational simulations for a new material or an improved material uh, with properties that can be used for technology. Ideally what we like to do is provide the actual recipe for the new material. But in practice what's more useful is to tell the experimentalists where not to go searching and to reduce the time, energy and effort to find the new materials. The general description uh, of the research that tries to solve these type of problems are really two related goals. One is to fundamentally describe what's controlling all the properties of these materials. The other goal is to actually on the computer predict the new material. An example would be in the applied programs is making new rare earth magnets in order to make them more economical for use, for example, in the automobile industry. You want to remove the rare earths that are contained in there or at least reduce them. And so on the computer, we've successfully designed several new magnets with less expensive rare earth and actually eliminated some of the very expensive rare earth altogether. Ames Laboratory historically has been the material laboratory in the Department of Energy. And there's no better place than a Department of Energy lab where teams are developed based on their expertise and brought together to work on a specific problem. Having that close relationship between theoretical and experimental groups is really a unique effort here at the Ames Laboratory.